The Federal Aviation Administration, ever the vigilant guardians of the skies, decided SpaceX needed a little financial tap on the wrist, a $633,000 fine. For SpaceX, a company aiming to colonize Mars, it's probably just petty cash. Think of it as the equivalent of a parking ticket for your average billionaire. Apparently SpaceX forgot to share some crucial data before their launches from Florida. Oops, you'd think remembering paperwork would be easier than landing a rocket on a drone ship. The FAA took a dim view of this lapse in communication. They cited failure to submit accurate data as the reason for the fine. Imagine the look on Elon Musk's face when he saw the invoice. The specific launches in question involved Falcon 9 rockets, SpaceX's workhorse for getting things into orbit. These launches from Florida didn't follow all the FAA's rules. Imagine being so good at rocket science that you forget the proper forms. It's like forgetting to signal before a hyperspace jump. The missing data was crucial for ensuring the rocket's integrity, you know, a minor detail. But SpaceX has a good track record so maybe they just eyeballed it. The FAA sticklers for detail weren't impressed, because giant exploding rockets wouldn't be ideal. It would put a damper on the Sunshine State vibe. Just a reminder that even in space exploration, bureaucracy reigns supreme. SpaceX, the brainchild of the ever-controversial Elon Musk, has a history of pushing the envelope. Sometimes that envelope gets ripped to shreds. They've had their fair share of explosions, near misses, and regulatory run-ins. It's all part of the process, right? This isn't the first time SpaceX has found itself in the FAA's crosshairs. They've had previous disagreements over launch procedures and environmental impact statements. It's like a long-running sitcom, but with rockets instead of laugh tracks. But hey, you gotta admire their ambition. They're trying to revolutionize space travel, make humanity a multi-planetary species, and maybe even sell flamethrowers on the side. It's a busy schedule. Sometimes a few forms slip through the cracks. So this latest fine is just another chapter in the ongoing saga of SpaceX versus the FAA. It's a classic tale of innovation versus regulation, of daring to dream versus filling out paperwork in triplicate. Who will win in this epic battle? Stay tuned. Section 4. Public Reaction, A Mix of Awe and Told You So The public reaction to the fine was, as expected, a mixed bag. Some people applauded the FAA for holding SpaceX accountable, others rolled their eyes and muttered something about government overreach. It's the internet after all. SpaceX fans, ever loyal to their beloved Musk-led company, jumped to its defense. They argued that the fine was excessive, that SpaceX is doing important work, and that the FAA should just leave them alone. Because who needs regulations when you're trying to colonize Mars? On the other side of the spectrum, the naysayers had a field day. See, I told you they were reckless, they crowed. This proves that Elon Musk is a cowboy, they declared. It's as if they were waiting for this moment to validate their skepticism. Of course, there were also the usual jokes and memes. Pictures of Elon Musk paying the fine with Dogecoin, comparisons to parking tickets, and general mockery of the situation. The internet as always found a way to make light of the situation. Section 5, The Final Countdown, to Paying the Fine So, what's the takeaway from this whole debacle? Well for one thing, it seems like even rocket scientists aren't immune to bureaucratic red tape. Even if you're trying to send humans to Mars, you still have to fill out the proper forms. Secondly, it's a reminder that SpaceX, for all its innovation and ambition, is still subject to the same rules as everyone else. They might be pushing the boundaries of space exploration, but they still have to play by the FAA's rules. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, it's a good reminder that even in the world of high-stakes space travel, there's always room for a little bit of bureaucratic absurdity. Because let's face it, a $633,000 fine for forgetting to submit some paperwork is pretty funny. Almost as funny as landing a rocket on a drone ship. Almost.